Okay, this may be a part one. I'm going to see if I can get through this whole damn video. Uh, but it is the famous reasonable questions for anti-SJWs that a bunch of these SJW fuckfaces did. Are you able to understand the irony of responding to the perceived political correctness of the left with exasperated reactionary hypersensitivity of your own? What is- Okay, um, I hate to bring this up, but one of my jobs on this platform and on BitChute and, any, and during a podcast or anything like that, one of my jobs is to accept, there is one exception, and that is when I'm uh, having a live discussion with another human. But one of my jobs on here is to be entertaining. How I achieve that is by being over the fucking top. Sit with you people in skulls. Skulls are cool. How do you define right wing? Anti SJWs often. Uh. Unfortunately, you motherfuckers are the one defining alt or right wing or alt right as anybody that disagrees with you. Often have an aversion to being labeled as right wing. Well, I'm not. I mean, I, yes, there's a lot. There's a lot of opinions I have that are right wing, and if I had to load them all up, maybe more of my opinions align with the right than the left. But I have some very left opinions. Like, I am very pro-choice. Yet they regularly defend the right and bash the left. Therefore, why is being labeled right-wing a bad thing to you? And I also am a staunch defender of the separation of church and state. I go after people on the right just as much as I go after people on the left. It just seems that probably for the last five years... People on the left have been giving me the comedy gold that I need. If it's because right wing is used as a pejorative, can you not see how labeling people as SJWs or regressives is also pejorative? Rather than telling people you disagree with to drink bleach, wouldn't it be more productive for you to have an actual conversation about the issues you feel matter? Okay, sure. Sure, Tom. Set it up. Let, when do you want to do it? It seems like your side is the one that I have to drag kicking and screaming into a fucking debate. Or is it just easier to do the bleach thing? You claim to be proponents of rational, logical, evidence-based argumentation. Okay. That's great. That's entirely laudable. But when I look at your online activity, when I look at, I don't know, for example, your Twitter feed, that's often not what I see. How do you reconcile this claim to be evidence-based and rational and logical against stuff like, oh, I was just trolling you, oh, I was just shitposting, or TLDR? No. Um, well... One is I'm having a conversation or a, a debate with you or I'm trying to make a point in a video and on Twitter I'm just having fun. Seriously? What is it with you people and skulls? Skulls are cool! Why, why do you feel the need to make your video in like some creepy serial killer shack? Are you aware that the ridiculous- Oh God! Who the fuck is this? Jesus! Those buzzwords you helped to popularize, like SJW and cuck and regressive, have all lost whatever meaning they once had, and only serve now as casual insults and pejoratives to derail any meaningful conversation. Uh, I, I, I'm just going to go with the fact that you're wearing a toga and have a shitty mustache. You're probably a cuck. For the last time, what is it with you people and committing actual literal felonies? Like, you might want to work on that? Okay, so you found one person that maybe was a anti-SJW that he committed a felony. Okay, if he's found guilty, um, fine. Fuck him. He deserves to go to jail. The vast majority of us don't do that. Just like I could probably bring up somebody on your side committing actual felonies i mean i thought the ralph uh they're, they're oh god fuck what is his name um some guy who was some fucking just psychotic defender of anita sarkeesian 
he's a registered sex offender. So, again, I, I, I don't think all SJWs are pedophiles. I would appreciate it if you didn't think that all of us anti-SJWs are violent psychopaths ra- waiting to beat the shit out of somebody. Retort was so rational when he was fantasizing about beating up women with dyed hair, but then he assaulted a police officer, and finally I was convinced. In videos and in the comment section. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. All right. Anti feminists often take up the most extreme or the weakest feminist position they can find, or they just straight up misrepresent what the feminist position is. Instead, why not take up the strongest, most robust feminist argument you can find and really challenge yourself? Okay. What is it? Uh, every video I've seen of you, Christy, is you yammering on for 35 minutes when somebody asks you a simple question. Um, I have seen the most robust, strongest feminist arguments, and they suck. Because the idea of feminism is that somehow men and women are not equal. When in reality, all the evidence points to men and women being equal. I am deeply concerned with male addiction rates, suicide rates, and abuse rates, because I have worked with these issues in the okay. quote-unquote real world. Would you be willing as anti-feminists to put aside your difference? Well, here's the quote-unquote real world. Anything that happens in your real life versus what happens on YouTube. ...differences with feminists for the greater good of addressing these issues, especially as the kind of solutions needed, are not necessarily gendered. And if so, I would actually like you to let me know, because I'm not fucking around or presenting any gotcha. Sure. This year, I actually really think that we could get something done if we work together. So, yeah. What is third wave? Um, the, the problem is, is that while that might be a nice, noble sentiment, if me and you were to hold a talk, let's say, about male suicide rates or, or male uh, victims of domestic abuse, do you know what will happen? A group of radical, gaggling feminists will come frothing at the mouth to either storm the stage or pull the fire alarm and get the event shut down. Or there will be a bunch of feminists that will work to deplatform us. But yeah, if you want, sure. I'm on board. Feminism. Because I've often heard you folks insist that you have no objection to feminism in general. It's specifically third wave feminism that you have a quarrel with. So what is third wave feminism? I I actually don't know because I have no idea what they have left to fight for. First wave was fighting for the right to vote and getting them equal under the law. Second wave was that women should have equality of opportunity. I certainly agree with that. Third wave, they're equal under the law. They have equality of opportunity. I have no idea what the fuck they're fighting for. They've got, uh, imagine depression. Specifically. And what specifically about third wave feminism do you have such a problem with? Why is it that this feminist (laughs) represents all feminists, but this men's rights activist doesn't represent all men's rights activists? Whoa, whoa, wait. Sexism all of a sudden? Ladies and men are different? So we're supposed to punch? So, okay, you have some dipshit in a bad shirt freaking out at McDonald's or, uh, uh, I have no idea what the fuck that is. Uh, okay, so this guy's a douchebag. But no, I have never once said that Trigley Puff represents all goddamn feminists. Hell, there are some feminists that are consider- that I would say are quite attractive. Men and not hit ladies and open doors for men on your own and not ladies. Oh, it's a McDonald's. Look, you get out of my face, you tiny piece of shit. Why am I continually asked to answer for the views of feminists if I agree with feminism's overall aims, but don't agree much with those particular feminists? Does that mean that I can ask you to answer for anybody who labels themselves similarly to you, even if you don't agree much? Well, the problem is, is that my group often says it's not a hive mind. The problem with feminism is, is that it actually operates like a hive mind, and if you go outside of feminist doctrine, that's why I'm akinning feminism more to a religion these days than anything else, then you are cast out and you're a piece of shit and blah, 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 blah. 
But it is odd when feminists say things like uh, Jessica Valenti saying that men are just garbage and walking dildos, and the Scum Manifesto is read in several uh, women's studies classes. How the fuck can you stand there and fight for the group? Or when I say, you know, this, this feminist that you have defended in the past said this and said these other things, you know, look, if Anita Sarkeesian steals a car, I'm not going to ask you to answer for that. If SUs are bad because they spend too much time whining and don't talk about real problems, then why aren't you talking about those problems instead of just whining about the other people over and over and over for literally years? I'm um, I do. Uh, speaking of Anita Sarkeesian, I don't think I've talked about her once. In 2018, I, I brought her up. I think this is the first time, and I'm going to do another video about the, how the bitch is hemorrhaging money. But um, no, I don't think I have uh, talked about her once. I do talk about other things. I mean, in the scale of priority, and I hate to say this, I don't think you guys do talk about it too much. Jeez, that's like. I mean, you your your whole side is still obsessed with fucking Trump even lower, right? You know, you've got the real problems, you've got the things that feminists worry about, and then you've got you going, oh, how, how dare they? Just, how dare they have different priorities from me? Why can't they do what I do? Whine about whining. Forever. For a living. That's healthy. I, well, okay. If you can make video after video complaining about feminism and do this and enough people watch it, especially in this day and age, where you can fucking uh, make a living at it. Son of a bitch. Congratulations. Because that's what people want. I don't know. Like, what the fuck you want, man? Why don't you seem as concerned with actual feminist theory in academia as you are with wrecking people for views? Since so many of Because views mean more subscribers. And more views mean better advertising, and that means more money. If you profess to be admirers of second-wave feminism as opposed to third-wave feminism, I thought it would be interesting to ask which... I'm not an admirer of third-wave, first, second, or third-wave feminism. I just said I agreed with them. They had a fucking point. Second-wave feminists, in particular... Do you appreciate which books written by second wave? I I don't, Steve. They had a point though. Feminists, have you read and found interesting? Which second wave feminist activists have you specifically admired as you formed the opinion that you like second wave feminism, but you have no use for third wave feminism? I'm just. I, I, I didn't say I didn't like it. I just said I agreed with their argument. Okay. Here's the other thing though. Second wave feminists back in the day, didn't fucking storm a stage to de-platform a speaker they didn't like. Second wave feminism didn't fucking decide to paint portraits with tampon blood. Second wave feminism didn't cause a fucking riot. They still, second wave feminism would actually engage people in a debate. Third wave feminism doesn't want to do that. Curious. You do understand that reading the title of a book or an article or watching the first 15 seconds of a video is not going to give you a deep, nuanced understanding of what that book or article or video is about, right? Uh, yeah, that's why I generally watch the whole video before I, er, I watch, try to watch as much as I can before my fucking brain wants to have me put a bullet in it. And, you know, I, I destroy it as I go along, like I'm doing with this piece of shit, and WHY CAN YOU NOT GET A SHIRT?! That being said. Jesus Christ. And also, I, I, fucking, Jesus, just, just manscape yourself. Shave the chest and the shoulders and the, oh, God. How can you expect to understand or critique? God, I'm like straight, but I'm even more repulsed feminist sources if you don't even attempt to understand what they're trying to say. Why is trying and failing to debunk a study into sexual assault the number one priority for a rational thinker now? Uh, because they usually use this one in five stat to beat us, to be, they usually use the one in five stat to beat us over the head with and say that the 
world is so hostile to women, despite the fact that men make up the majority of assault victims, murder victims, if you throw in prison, rape victims. Um, the one in five stat has been debunked 9,000 times. It's not true, but it keeps getting parroted out like it's a fact. Even our own, even the former president, Barack Obama, said the fucking stat. And it's garbage. Doesn't it, does it maybe, maybe say something about your priorities? Does it maybe, does it, nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's the feminazis, we have to stop them. Why, why do I think that if I were to turn the camera around, there'd be a bunch of women in cages? They're taking away our video games. Look, Anita, I'm sorry, but we, we, I, I can't, we, we can't actually destroy video games, that doesn't make any sense. One of the major arguments. <sighs> Except Anita was actually trying to change video games. For the worse. That I see. She just failed miserably. In many of your videos, is that it is possible to separate criticism of the religion of Islam from the actual Muslim people. And yet, this line seems to be crossed very often. I see things like raghead or camel fucker or other things like that. In uh, I may have said camel fucker. I know for a fact I've never called any Muslim a raghead. In your comment sections, I see people... But then again, on that note, you can find uh, videos from Arabs, Muslims, drinking camel piss, so I, it, it's supposed to revitalize you. I, I don't know. People taking very serious shots at Muslims in videos and hangouts, and they don't get called out, at least not that I can see. So my question is this, why should a person of conscience who is concerned about the Muslim people in their community not being harmed or mistreated, why should they believe that you're actually only attempting to look at the ideas and talk about the ideas if you ignore bigotry that's occurring right in front of you? And in that light, would you be- Um, here's, here's the problem with- with your your stance um look if a muslim was on a a google hangout with me and i was the one in charge of it or moderating it or, or what the fuck ever and this muslim person was being rather reasonable and somebody just started call, going in and calling him camel fucker and raghead and you you fucking uh burka wearing bit i'd i'd kick him off but I can't control everyone. The problem is, is that you people seem to think that when I bring up stats and facts and say that it's not just this tiny fraction of Muslim, that there is a large, large number of them that support what the tiny fraction is doing, you people call that racist. Or when I take a Muslim to task, when they say that Islam supported science, supports feminism, has women as equals, or any of the other blatant lies they say. Again, but if I tag on like camel fucker, that's what's known as making a joke. Be willing to break bread and salt with moderate Muslim people on your videos, have hangouts, invite them to- Sure, yes I would. And I said that if a moderate Muslim was just trying to get their point across, was being reasonable, and somebody came in, I would kick the person who was saying camel fucker out. Uh, as for breaking bread, no problem. As I've always stated, everyone is welcome at my barbecue. Even if you don't eat pork. To your channels, just in order to build some bridges there and to learn more about what they think and how they feel and what their experience has been so that- And again, I'm even willing to set up a second smoker to make sure the chicken doth not touch said pork. But what I'm not willing to accept is a bunch of Muslims saying I can have pork or beer at my barbecue. That's the compromise. Information and knowledge can be furthered. Do you deny that systemic racism against black people is like a thing in general? If so. Yes. Yes, I do. So what? Okay, just just step up. Just cover your ears for a second and let the smart people talk. If not, why is it so much more important to you to demonize groups like Black Lives Matter than to act? Because Black Lives Matter causes riots. Black Lives Matter causes property damage. Black Lives Matter is chanting things like, what do we want? Dead cops. When do we want them now? Or pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. 
Black Lives Matter also got the city of Baltimore to remove cops from certain areas of oppression, as Black Lives Matter put it, a.k.a. high crime areas that have a high population of black people and crime shot through the roof. Um, as for the systemic uh, racism against black people, uh, th- you're going to have to provide me some evidence. You can't just say it exists. And then go, well, I'm a black man! And have it exist. That, that doesn't fucking work. ...actually use your platforms to discuss actual solutions to issues surrounding race and racism. If you've ever discussed or done a video about black-on-black black crime, when are you going to do a video about white-on-white white crime and what we, as white people, can do to solve the problems in our community? Well, um... The reason I, I, I bring up black-on-black black crimes is that usually it's in response to somebody saying, usually a black person, stating that the police are, it's just open season. Cops are killing black people left and right. And I go, well, um, actually, if you look at the stats, they killed like 200 and, you know, 6,000 black people have been murdered. And... Or when they say that, you know, it's it's racist and black pe- and white people love to kill black people. Well, then I bring it up. But, sure, I'll happily bring it up. Um, white. How do you want me to bring it up, actually? I, I can bring it up. I'm, okay. Uh, about, I mean, oh, God, what the fuck was it? Like, 4,000 white people were killed by other white people last year. Why is a literal teenager's different definition of racism from you so horrifying that you all have to go, No! No, we have to stop him! We have to punch him now! Ah! Wherever did you get the... Because, uh, this particular person who, by the way, went against the SJWs and apologized for these things, which is why I haven't really brought... Is it her? Ah, whatever. I haven't brought this person up. But at times, she was making some pretty broad statements. The idea that racism was a self-applied identity. And if the only true racists are the racists who self-identify as racists, how can we ever expect to make any social progress to reduce racism? Or did I just answer my own question? Okay. The members, the 5,000 members that I keep bringing up, of the KKK, will proudly stand there and tell you to your face, Steve, that white people are superior to black people, Mexicans, Asians, all of them. White people should be ruling the world just by the virtue that we're white. Okay? You understand? Racists who believe racist things have no problem at all, Steve, of telling you that they're racist. That's why I I always found it funny when people said that the Tea Party was a racist organization. Racist organizations tell you they're racist. Now, I could bring up Black Panther the Black Panthers or Gazi Kodzos thing, you are aware that that racist organizations are just not confined to white people. You are aware of that, Steve. You often say that you are for equality of opportunity, but if people of color, for instance, have to overcome barriers whites do not, such as discrimination and unequal treatment, as are well documented in various studies... Um, I... You could have linked the studies... I don't see it. I do not see... I, I, I don't fucking see it. I mean, you're going to have to give me some hard fucking evidence for that. When we have had black CEOs, black Supreme Court justices, black senators, black House, black representatives, a black president, uh, there are several millionaires and billionaires that are black... Um, seems like we have equality about, there are black doctors, black lawyers, black engineers, 
Where the fuck is this barrier? Then how can the current situation be thought of as equal opportunity in any real way? And why do you consider it racist to discuss these issues? I don't consider it inherently racist. But if you're saying, like, white people have to be taken out of the picture just because black people, I don't know, need a helping hand or something, or if you want to deplatform me because I'm white, well, then, yeah, I got an issue with that. Do you understand basic English syntax? Like, you know, if I say this cat is pretty, I don't mean that all other cats aren't pretty. Like, do you really not get why saying all lives matter in response to black lives matter is not only racially insensitive, but just patently ridiculous? Uh, no, it's actually not. No one on the planet said that says that black lives don't matter. What I'm saying is, is that my life is no more or less valuable than some black guy's life. Okay? Again, you might want to talk to your fucking movement. Isn't it offensive to men to assume that a man could only ever want equality for women and therefore be comfortable with feminism as a whole in order to get laid and that reduces us to beasts? If that was the case, wouldn't I attempt to get laid? from my views instead of not ever trying that if you say well i'm sorry you're a complete cuck pussy bitch you're an egalitarian will you call out the man-hating slurs that you see coming from people within your community people who use terms like cuck beta male faggot or mangina all of these things basically distill men down into thinking that the most important thing about them is to be having sex with a woman that's no, that is not what that insult is. The insult is like what I just gave that guy. Okay, and when a guy writes an article to be a to be a true male feminist, I have to let my wife fuck other dudes. What the fuck do you want me to do with that? That's rather offensive. So what are you doing? Well, what the fuck do you care? Because you want guys to be beta male bitches anyway. ...to stop this kind of behavior in your community. Nothing! What I want men to do is be fucking men. And that means, guess what? You can't let words hurt you. What is the number of followers, the number of likes, the number of dislikes, the number of retweets, the number of subscribers, any of those numbers, any of those metrics, what have they got to do with the argument? Deepak Chopra, for example. Not a lot, but if you generally get more views, more likes, more subscribers, more retweets, what the fuck ever, it generally means you made a pretty decent argument. There's a reason your side lost this one. A man who trots out an endless stream of pseudoscientific quantum womb and there's a bunch of shit i disagree with deepak chopra on there's also shit i agree with him on bollocks has nearly three million followers so what those people follow him because he tells them what they want to hear why even mention the no okay let's go with your analogy he tells them what they want to hear why are there more people that want to hear what i have to say versus what you want to have to say number of followers you have what that I think came out wrong. What difference does it make? Why is it that you go on? Oh God! Oh God! I never thought I'd say this, but God damn, manscape! Shave your fucking God damn it! Shave, shave, shave! And, and fucking on about safe spaces and trigger warnings and delicate little flowers. Because they're retarded. But continue to hide behind your cartoon avatars and your childish pseudonyms. Uh, on this video, there has been not one but two people hiding behind a cartoon avatar. Go fuck yourself. And whenever anyone calls you out on your sexist, racist, homophobic, bigoted rhetoric, you become the argument of your own scorn and are hashtag triggered, as they say. Well, you say that I'm racist. I generally will defend myself from that claim. The problem is, is that you can't prove it. Are you willing to publicly acknowledge and admonish the massive amount of hatred, bullying, harassment, and intimidation that a lot of your fans infringe upon people? And I don't mean these tiny disclaimers. No. You know why? Because 
I don't expect... I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. On War Corp 666, I went after a woman named Marina. Shut up. Every time I would go after this woman, her fans would come in mass to downvote and give me a bunch of shit comments. This happened every fucking time I did a video on her. I didn't cry about it. And I didn't hold Marina Shut Up responsible for it. No content creator is responsible for the conduct of their fans. We are not their daddies or mommies. Okay? What do you want us to do? We make a video. The best we can do is not leave a link in the description, but people will find it anyway. If people downvote your video, maybe you made a shit argument. And I find this odd. You're on a thing of, of reasonable question for anti SJWs, and you're with a pack of atheists, but you got the fucking end of days series. Is that you put under the description folder flash for two seconds at the beginning of the video that you know nobody reads? I mean, a what do you want me to do? I can literally write a fucking poem about not going to the video. I'll give you a perfect example. I have done, I have gotten, uh, I, I didn't do it last year. I'll probably do it because I just want to see how bad the damage is. I have gotten Anita Sarkeesian's uh, Feminist Frequencies tax records. She's a 501c3. These are matter of public records. And every fucking time I've said, if you want to look at these yourself, all you got to do is email. She has to provide them because she's 501c3, and that's one of the one of the rules. I also stated, if you do email her, be fucking professional. Be nice. Don't be, hey, cunt, I want your tax returns public and ongoing anti-bullying stance or do you kind of like watching your fans go around harassing people and calling them slurs and telling them to kill themselves kind of like uh well i jack off to it you know you i mean if that's your thing i guess that's just what you're into just makes you a dick why do you find it so hard to believe that feminists are being harassed online do you understand the um because i get it as well if it was all one way you'd have a point but it's not key importance of reproducibility and repeatability in scientific research. That's simply going to Google Scholar, doing a 30 second search for keywords and pulling out the first paper you find that backs up your stance is not a particularly credible way to do research. That you have to have a much broader overview to read the material, to follow the citations through, to look at the broad brush approach to a particular problem. You do realise that you're as much of a social... Okay. There's also a, a, a problem with your approach as well. If you keep digging for so for something, as you suggested, following the citations and blah, 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 and all that other crap, eventually, if you dig far enough, you're going to find what you want. Justice Warrior, as those you critique. All right, that is where I'm going to end this. Um, yeah, that's enough. All right. That ends this one.